note, and we are checking in from Country Stampede, and we are here on night one with Dallas Smith, who is opening for Thomas Rhett tonight. So, how has your experience been so far? It's uh, it's great. It's, uh, yeah, people are treating us good here, and uh, nice little town. That's been good so far. Are you on tour all summer? And is this how far into your tour are you right now? This is actually we had 12 days off at home, and this is kind of the, the official kickoff of festival season. So we're we're out for the next. Uh, Next couple months. You transitioned from being in a band, a rock band, to yep. country solo artist. What was the hardest part of that transition for you? It really wasn't that difficult, to be quite honest. Uh, like, you know, the recording process is a little different, doing uh, uh, doing my own thing and, and not being involved with, uh, with the band per se. But uh, uh, it's been a pretty seamless transition. I, I released a, a debut Canadian record, uh, my first solo record, about five years ago. So. You guys are just kind of um, being introduced to me over the last couple of years, but um, you know, I, had a, I had a transition up in, uh, up in Canada already, so yeah, it's been, it's been good. It's been really good. What's the best part been for you so far? Oh man, these, these country festivals. Uh, I mean, I, I played in the 2000s, we played all the big rock festivals, and they were great. Um, but uh, these country festivals, I mean, it's just, the fans are just amazing. I, I, think, uh, I think country music fans, especially these festivals, I think mean, they're the best fans out there. They are pretty great, yeah. they're very supportive. How important are your fans to you? That's the reason why I'm here. So they're very important. Yeah, absolutely. How much contact do you have with your fans? Uh, I stay pretty involved. Um, like I do lots of meet and greets, and I'll go out and uh, yeah, go out to the merch booth and say hi to everybody. And um, you know, I'm involved on all the social media stuff. So it's it's fun for me. I I'm, I like people a lot, most people, and uh, so I enjoy that uh, that aspect of what I do. Your singles have broken all sorts of records in Canada and been the top selling records digitally. Can you tell us like how that's affected you or what your thoughts are on that whole thing? Well, being from Vancouver, that being my home country, uh, you know, it's great to have the support um, and see those kind of things up there. So that's 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 uh, it's become a bit of a home base for me, and the support there is, is great and has allowed me to uh, to kind of branch off and, and maybe bring some maybe some Canadian country down to you guys. And uh, hopefully you like it. We do. We love it down cool, cool. here. Um, where would be the one venue that would be your dream venue to play? Oh, I played some great ones. I mean, I. I <laughs> Uh, I mean, Madison Square Gardens. I mean, if you play Madison Square Gardens, I mean, that, you're doing some things right. But I, I've played some great venues. Uh, we're doing the Gorge in Washington State for the second time coming up here this summer. And it's one of my favorite venues. It's, there's, there's many of them. I, I mean, I, I played some really cool shows. We played in Afghanistan in the uh, in Kandahar Air Base and uh, the stage up there. So, it, yeah, I played some pretty cool, pretty cool places. What would surprise your fans to learn the most about you? Oh, I don't know. Um, Pretty family guy. I'm, I I got a couple kids, so I keep everything pretty low key. Uh, keep myself out of trouble. And yeah. It's, it's probably Who's on your playlist right now? Who are you listening to? Oh, I, I always get stuck with this one. Um, I'm a big uh, satellite radio guy, and and, uh, and I'm, I like channel hop just from like different stuff. So I, I don't really have any. Actually, my new car that I got now it doesn't have a CD player in it, so I have to figure out. I really don't have a playlist on my. Eye. On my phone, you know? oh. <laughs> so uh, I kind of have to get used to not having a CD player. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just random stuff. I mean, I like all kinds of music, so it can be anything. Yeah. What can the fans expect next from you? Uh, we have a new single out in the in the fall here. I'm pretty excited about it. It's a brand new song, and um, yeah, I'll be I'll be around lots. I'm gonna be doing lots of uh, festivals down here and, uh, and doing lots of radio stuff. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting work done. Where can people follow along? I know you're on Twitter and you have your own website. What's the easiest way? Uh, yeah, you can go um, dallasmithmusic.com. That's got everything on there. But most of the stuff is like at Dallas Smith or at Dallas Smith Music. So. Sounds good. Is there anything else you would like to share? I think that's it. Thank you so much for joining us. We <laughs> really appreciate your time no and we problem. wish you great things. Thank you very much. That's it.